Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today's video, I'm going to be doing an everyday eye look with a little bit of shimmer. So to start, I already have my face washed and moisturized, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a little bit of face primer, and this is the Professional Primer from Benefit. So I just put that um, kind of all over my face, and I use this so that my foundation can glide on much more smoothly. The foundation that I'm going to be using is my all-time everyday favorite foundation from Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Um, it's a water foundation. It has SPF 15 in it, which I love, especially living in Florida. I need all of the sunscreen I can get. So this is in the shade Medium Sand because I am, you can't really tell here, but I promise I am a little bit tan. So I go ahead and I put that on my Morphe M439 brush and I buff that in. Next, I go ahead and I take my concealer from Bare Minerals Bare Skin line and this is in the shade medium. It's basically my skin tone and I just use it for any areas that are on my face that are a little bit red and then I, need, I just need to conceal. Um, I go ahead and I take that on my Morphe M173 concealer brush. I love this brush. Um, and I just go ahead and I buff everything in and make sure that there is no creasing, there is no redness peeking through. I love this concealer as well. I think it's a really great everyday concealer. It is, I would say, um, light to medium coverage. Now to kind of give me some brightness underneath the eye, I have my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in the shade Porcelain. So I go ahead and I take this and I just put it in the areas on my face that I want to kind of brighten up, lighten up. So that's usually under the eye, a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my forehead, anywhere where the sun would normally hit. And I take that and I go ahead and take my um, Sigma Tapered Kabuki Brush F86 and I go ahead and I blend it all in. All right, we are good to go with that. Now I'm going to use the Cover FX um, Matte Setting Powder. This is translucent. I absolutely love this stuff. It makes sure that my makeup stays in place all day. I don't get any creasing and it doesn't get cakey. So this stuff is awesome and it doesn't give any flashback either for photography or anything like that. Next, I'm going to use my Hoola Bronzer from Benefit, an oldie but a goodie. And I just go ahead and use the brush that is, um, it comes with and you're going to see that I kind of apply it a little bit harshly, but it doesn't really bother me because I go in with my Real Techniques contour brush in a second and I blend it all out. I love that brush so much. And yeah, so I just go ahead and blend it and buff it out so that I don't have such harsh contour lines on my cheek or on my forehead. Okay, so now we have blush, and this is from Milani, and it's in the color Dolce Pink. I think this is such a beautiful color for spring and summer. This pink has some shimmer in it, which is so pretty when the light hits it. So I went ahead and I um, am buffing that out or applying it with uh, my Real Techniques blush brush. To go ahead and give me this overall dewy and glowy look, I use the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and it's in the color Be My Highlight. I am obsessed with this. Honestly, you guys, I think it's $4.99 at Ulta. And if you're looking for a highlighter that you don't, you don't want your highlight to be like beaming bright. Um, I mean, for that, I would use like something from Becca or like one of Kylie Cosmetics highlighters. Like if you just want like an all over natural glow, this highlight is awesome. Yay. Okay. Eyes are next. So the first thing that I do as always is prime my lid 
and I have the Urban Decay primer, but you can use whatever you like to use. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette. This is the Dark Magic palette from the Vault Collection. And I'm going to go ahead and take the first shade in the palette, and it's in the color Poof. And I go ahead and I take that and I put it all over my lid. This is just going to provide a nice base for the rest of the eyeshadows to blend really nicely over. Next, I'm going to go in with the color Shh. And um, this is a really beautiful color and I'm going to put this all over my crease. Um, the eyeshadow brush that I'm using, I honestly, it is from Amazon so it doesn't have a name or anything it's a no name brand but I really like it <laughs> so I go ahead and I take the color and I put that all over my crease and I just kind of build up the color until I get it until exactly to what I want it to be before I go in with the outside color that I'm going to put um, on the outside corner of my eye and this is in the color mojo so it's a darker brown in the palette and I take that and I just again I'm using a no-name brush but it's just really fluffy I'm not trying to have too much color on my eye um, with any of these colors I'm just it's like a really subtle glam look so I go ahead and I blend in that mojo color and like I did with the color sh <laughs> it's so weird to say that <laughs> but like I said I just go ahead and I blend it until I get the desired color that I want. And I actually go ahead in a second, you'll see, I go ahead and I take um, my eyeshadow, like or my eyebrow pencil brush, and I dip it into Mojo, and that's what I use to kind of shape my brows. I don't really do too much with my brows um, on an everyday basis. That's not really my thing. I just have them more natural, but you can see that adding some eyeshadow really helps to shape them and give them some color. So that's just what I do on a daily basis. Next, I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek Pigment in the, um, in the color Afterglow. You guys, this is such a gorgeous color. I love it so much. And I just go ahead and I take it on a flat, um, flat brush and I go ahead and I spritz it. After I've dipped it in, I go ahead and I spritz it with my All Nighter Spray. And that will um, give the shadow a beautiful metallic look, which you'll see. So that's always a little trick that you can do if you want your shadows to be more metallic -y. Just go ahead and spritz it with a little bit of uh, Fix Plus from MAC or All Nighter Spray, whatever. And then you'll see that I go in um, with my eyeshadow blending brushes too along the way just to make sure everything is blending nicely. Last but not least, when it comes to eyeshadow, I am going to be using Physicians Formula Natural Eye Light. And this is an eye brightener. I really love, love this stuff too. And I just go ahead and I put it in my tear duct and then also on my brow bone just for a really beautiful highlight to kind of make my eyes look alive. What's your guys' favorite highlight for your inner corner? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so for my all-time absolute favorite liquid liner, this is from Stila. Um, this is definitely a ride or die. I haven't used any other liquid liner for about four years now. This is just my absolute favorite. So I go ahead and kind of skip through this. You'll see that I do the same thing with my mascara. My mascara is also Stila, and it's the huge extreme lash mascara. So both of these together are so awesome and I get them any chance that I can get. A lot of times during Christmas time actually they have the two for $22 total when usually just the eyeliner alone is $22. So that's always when I stock up for the year and I get a few. <laughs> okay, so for lips. This is a really old um, lip liner from Ulta, the Ulta brand, and it's in the color Mocha. And then I go ahead and top that with lipstick from Maybelline in the color 660, Touch of Spice. And then I top that off with Bare Minerals Icon Matte Liquid Lipstick.
All right, now we have to go ahead and lock our makeup into place. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, the setting spray to make sure that nothing budges all day. So here is the final look. I think that this is just so beautiful. It looks fresh, it looks dewy. I feel like my skin looks so just airbrushed almost. I just love that foundation so much. Um, but yeah, this is definitely something that you can totally achieve. And if you do, be sure to tag me in Instagram. Hashtag the Savvy Maven. Now here is me in my pajamas. And now here's me with my outfit of the day. So this outfit um, is not, oh, pieces of it are new. So the top is from TJ Maxx, that's new. It has a floral print, which is really pretty. And I love the details on the sleeves and the neck. And then my pants, my jeggings are from Loft. I think that the zipper detail is so cute on the bottom. Those are old and then uh, my shoes are also old and those are from DSW, but girl, they are so cute. I love these. All right, I hope you guys have a really great week. Please let me know down in the comments below what you want to see next. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.